Genesis 21 through 21 7. Devotional Focus Verse And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. Genesis 21, 1 and 2. It is considered honorable to keep a promise, and it is often thought especially remarkable when a person goes to great effort to fulfill one. In his book, Up From Slavery, Booker T. Washington gave an example of such a situation in his account of a conversation he had with an ex-slave from Virginia. Mr. Washington related, I found that this man had made a contract with his master two or three years previous to the Emancipation Proclamation, to the effect that the slave was to be permitted to buy himself by paying so much per year for his body, and while he was paying for himself, he was to be permitted to labor where and for whom he pleased. Finding that he could secure better wages in Ohio, he went there. When freedom came, he was still in debt to his master some $300. Notwithstanding that the Emancipation Proclamation freed him from any obligation to his master, this man walked the greater portion of the distance back to where his old master lived in Virginia and placed the last dollar with interest in his hands. In talking to me about this, the man told me that he knew that he did not have to pay the debt, but that he had given his word to the master and his word he had never broken. He felt that he could not enjoy his freedom till he had fulfilled his promise. If a person can be this exemplary in keeping his word, how much more God will do what he has said. Today's focus verses state that the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. After years of waiting, countless prayers, and a multitude of events and accompanying emotions, Abraham and Sarah received the son who had been promised 25 years before. Once again, the Lord proved himself faithful to his word. What a day that must have been for the aged couple. We may face situations or trials in our lives when it seems that God is taking a very long time to fulfill his promises. The enemy of our souls would tempt us to despair, to think that the promises are not for us, or to lose hope. However, we can encourage ourselves with the knowledge that God will not fail. If men can go to laudable measures to keep a promise, God most certainly will keep his word. He did it for Abraham, and he will do so for us also. Background Information Today's text covers two important events in Abraham's life. Chapter 20 tells of Abraham's sojourn in Gerar and his deception of Abimelech regarding Sarah. Chapter 21 begins with the birth of their promised son Isaac. Abraham had been living in Mamre, but at this time traveled south to Gerar, an area controlled by the Philistines. Abimelech was a title rather than a name. It meant, my father, the king and indicated respect and reverence. In Abraham's native culture, marriage to a half-sister was not wrong. However, fear motivated Abraham to be deceptive regarding his relationship to Sarah. He was afraid those who were strong politically would kill him so they could have Sarah as a part of their harem. When he came to Gerar, Abimelech did take Sarah into his household but the text is clear that he did not come near her. God stepped in and spoke to Abimelech by a dream, and Abimelech took immediate action to obey the warning, demonstrating that he and his people respected and honored God. Abimelech addressed Abraham directly on the matter and reprimanded him. Abraham confessed his fear and explained the marriage practices of his country. Abimelech also reproved Sarah, at God's direction, Abraham prayed for Abimelech, and the barrenness that God had brought upon the women of Abimelech's household was reversed. 
The first verses of chapter 21 recount the fulfillment of the long-anticipated promised son for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90. They followed God's previously established commandment and circumcised Isaac when he was eight days old. Conclusion We can trust God to keep his promises. He always has and always will. Genesis Chapter 20 And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country, and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur, and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister, and Abimelech king of Gerar sent, and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night, and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man, for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, She is my sister? And she, even she herself said, He is my brother, in the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me, therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live, and if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou, and all that are thine. Therefore Abimelech rose early in the morning, and called all his servants, and told all these things in their ears, and the men were sore afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham, and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not to be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What sawest thou, that thou hast done this thing? And Abraham said, Because I thought, Surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is my sister, she is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. And it came to pass, when God caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said unto her, This is thy kindness which thou shalt show unto me, at every place whither we shall come, say of me, He is my brother. And Abimelech took sheep, and oxen, and men servants, and women servants, and gave them unto Abraham, and restored him Sarah his wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before thee, dwell where it pleaseth thee. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver, behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes, unto all that are with thee, and with all other, thus she was reproved. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech, and his wife, and his maidservants, and they bare children. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech, because of Sarah Abraham's wife. Genesis Chapter 21 And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived, and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was an hundred years old, when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham, that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age.